When you earn your degree online at Arizona State University, you get everything the nation's most innovative university has to offer. The same internationally recognized faculty, the same nationally ranked programs, the same degree. Learn more at asuonline.asu.edu. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woo a hand clapper, a high-fiver. I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. The adventures of Jungle Jim, broadcast weekly over this station, are based upon the action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the full-color comic supplement which is delivered to you every week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Comedy, mystery, intrigue, romance, drama, adventure. These are the elements that fill the life of Jim Bradley and his faithful assistant, Shanghai Lil and Polo. Just now, they're on a leopard hunt in the jungles above Singapore. A fourth member of the expedition is an American army man, Major Breed. The Major has come to obtain Jungle Jim's aid in catching a clever scoundrel who plans to stage a revolution and set himself up as ruler of the Paguan Island as soon as the United States grants them their independence. The leopard hunt reached its climax only a moment ago when the animal appeared and Lil raised her gun to fire. Then things happened. As our scene opened, Lil is hurrying to the side of Jim Bradley, who is prostrate on the ground. Major Breeze is running on to Ed Colo. Major Breeze? Major Breeze, come back, quick. Oh, Jim. Jim. Major Breeze. He's coming, Lil. Oh. What is it? Oh. Jim. His head. Where's that blood come from? His head. I'm afraid to lift it. Oh, Jim. Here. Help. Somebody shot him. Now, ease him over a little. Oh, Jim. His heart is still beating. Uh, give me that handkerchief. We'll need bandages. I'll send a native for the emergency kit. Yeah, you better wait a minute. Oh, Jim. Well, this looks like a lucky shot. I think the bullet just followed the scalp. Oh. Hogo, come, yo. Go camp. Bring Red Cross, quick. Hey, Major, are you sure it isn't deeper? I can't tell. It looks like it's just a flesh wound. Oh. It'll be plenty painful. Jim, it's our fault. We could have prevented this. Here, open my canteen. All right. I want to see whether it's deep or not. I think it's just a scalp wound. Here it is. Let me pour a little water on this cloth. That's it. Bathe his face. You move then. Oh, come on, Jim. Yeah. He'll be all right. But that was a narrow escape. Oh, a little more water here. Can you tell? Well, it's a deep gash. But the bullet didn't strike the skull. It bleeds, though. Yes, the scalp always does. It frightens most people into imagining it to be worse than it is. Jim. Jim. Yeah, this is a bad business, Lil. Why? This shooting... Even if Jim comes through, the man who shot that bullet didn't want him to. You know who did it. It could have been only one person. Kolo will get him. I can't understand how he'd have the nerve. Why should he want to? Jim hadn't even accepted your proposal. He may have assumed it. Kolo should have stopped him. Well, he may have tried. Everything happened so fast. Kolo had him when you came back. Now, they were fighting. Kolo was getting the best of him, but I didn't go on. You called, and I decided you needed me more than Kolo did. Oh, his eyes moved then. Jim. Yeah. Jim. It's going to be painful when he comes to. Sometimes a wound is numb and doesn't stop painting for hours. A little more water on his face. Where's your canteen? What is all gone in this? Right here. Okay. Jim, do you feel okay? Jim, he's coming around. Ah. I wish that native would get back with the emergency stuff. No. Oh. Hello, fella. Well, you passed out on us. <laughs> out, out. Oh, now you lie still. It's all right. Don't get up. Just lie still, Jim. You want a drink of water? No. Just a taste? No. No, thanks. Oh. Oh, my head. It's 
Gosh, it feels funny. It does nice feel. You got bumped. Oh, here comes the stuff. Hurry up. Well, what? What's the matter, Lou? Uh, somebody played a trick on you that might have been pretty costly. Oh, my head. Well, it feels just right here. Hmm? And just make yourself comfortable now, Jim. Oh, oh, Major. What's the matter? Somebody tried to shoot you and succeeded in putting a new part in your head. Oh, Lil, rip these bandages into pieces. Oh, wait a minute now. I, I can walk. This can, this can wait until we get back to camp. Now, you don't know how close a call you had. Will you have to take any stitches? Well, I should take a couple. Get the antiseptic. Hey, hey, tell me who, who shot me? Well, we didn't. Now, this may hurt now, Jim. So get a good hold. Oh, gosh. Can't we kill the pain or something? Oh, Major. Oh, well, then you'd better sterilize this needle and thread. Oh. What about the leopard? Major Breeze got him just as he leaped at me. My gun misfired. Oh, I, I can't understand it. Here. Here's the needle and thread. Now, do you want me to try and give you a local anesthetic on this? I'm going to have to take a couple of stitches in your scalp. No, no. No, Major, just, just give me that stick to grab hold of and... And I sew it up. Oh, here. No, I'll, I'll use my rifle here. No, don't use your gun. I huh? want to see something. Here. Hold on to this big stick. Yeah. Now, give me a hand, Lil. All right. Steady, Jim. All right, Major. Go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead, Major. Go ahead. I, I may holler, but don't pay any attention to me. Don't, just don't pay any attention, that's all. It'll be okay. What? Major, get the leverage. Well, I, I started the fire and my gun oh, missed. Major, Major. Now, now, uh, that's one stitch. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Oh. All right, Jim, I've seen them so bad that they had to be crocheted together. When I missed and screamed, you stood up and pulled the trigger and you missed. And Major Breeze shot the leopard. Now, Jim, hold on now. Oh, uh, had a boy. Uh, yeah. I think they'll... Hold it until we get to camp where we can really work on this. Oh, that's good news. Oh, is there, is there any water left? Oh, uh, get your canteen, Lil. Yeah. Isn't very cool lying in the sun. Oh, that'll be swell, Lil. It's something wet. Oh. oh, even that's better. You know, it's funny. I turned sick there for a minute. Oh, we'd better sterilize this needle again. All right, Major. I'll hold it. You like the match, though. All right. <sighs> There. Now, Jim, can you take it? Of course he can. All right. Grab on. All right, go ahead. Mm. Well, here are the bandages. There's the cotton, and you want some adhesive tape. Yes, a little. Oh, who shot me? You think it was Major's body, Seven? Oh. Here, let me see your gun. That's funny. What? Let me check my gun first. Well... That fellow is a clever rat. Would you believe that? What is it, Lil? Look at those bullets. That one was in Jim's gun, and this one was in mine. Here, yeah, let me see those cartridges. Well, I'm telling you, we were fools for letting him get away with it. He didn't get away. Kolu caught him. Lil, someone removed the powder from the cartridges in your gun and in Jim's. Well, why both of our guns? If he was after Jim... It looks like a trick. Planned in amazing detail. Blank ammunition, huh? Yeah. In both your guns. But I still don't see why in both of our guns. You missed fire. Jim missed fire. That compelled me to shoot. Yeah. And if another shot had been perfectly timed with mine, no one would have noticed it. You think someone tried to make it appear that you killed Jim? That's what it looks like to me. But why? Well, I'll tell you. Let's get him and find out. Colo! Oh, just a second. Just a second. Huh? Hammer that other cloth. And the adhesive. Here, I'll pull it off. How much do you want? Oh, about... Yeah. That's enough. We're wrapping it not too tight now. Oh, dear. You look like Kolu with his turban on. Well, Lil, I'm telling you, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Does it ache? Well, it feels like it's going to in about ten minutes. And boy, I mean ache. Oh, well, it'll quit hurting in a little while. We cleaned it all out and sewed it together. Just take it easy. The natives have a hammock here, and all you have to do is roll into it. Oh, that's all right, Lil. No, 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 you're my patient. You lie still. I wonder why we don't hear from Kolu. Where is he? Oh, put all the things back in the basket now. Oh, sure. Well, come on, tell me, where's Kolu? Oh, he was right over there in the tall grass, just to the left of that big tree, unless he took my servant back to camp. Kolu was fighting with him, and Major Breeze started over when I saw the blood on the back of your head. I know. I got everything. Here, boy. Yeah. 
Let the hammock down here on the ground. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Major. This is all silly. I can walk all right. How easy. Be still, Jim. Just roll over carefully. Now, don't disturb the bandage, please. Easy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's caught him. Yeah. Wait a minute. All right. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That's better. Are you comfortable, Jim? Yeah, fine. Well. Okay. Lift, boy. Where am I, Jack? Where was Kolu? All right, over there. Well, that's funny. There's no one there now. Well, we can go by there on the way to camp. Oh, maybe Kolu took him prisoner. How are you? Took him back to tie him up. Look. Huh? And what are they talking about? The grass. The reeds moving. It might be the leopard's mate. You can't see. Here, give me my gun. No, no, it's too slow. The leopard walks faster. Maybe he hears us and is listening. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Listen, what was that? I heard a voice. Kolu? Kolu? Quick, let's see. Be careful. Still maybe the leopard. Come on, if that's Kolu, he needs help. Go on in. Kolu? It is Kolu. Go ahead, go ahead, little. We'll follow. Come on, Major. Kolu, we're coming. Come on, Major. Bring the emergency kit. Yeah. Well, what's the matter, Kolu? What happened? Uh, I lose fight, huh? Oh. Major Bree's servant hit me on head with gun. Yeah, let me see. Ah, uh, there's a lump there, all right, a real one. Here's a drink of water. Just lie still. He shoot that Tuan Jim. Jim's all right. But the servant, did you, did he... Hello, very sorry. Man who try kill Tuan Jim, get away. He got away? Then he may be waiting in ambush to get us all on the way back to camp. Well, Major, we thought we were hunting leopards. But from here on, this is a man hunt. <laughs> So the would-be murderer succeeded in escaping from Kolo. Maybe Jungle Jim Bradley won't have to wait until he gets to the Paguan Islands for his adventure to start. Apparently, death lurks in the woods about him. But this is all in a day's work with Jungle Jim. Another dawn will find him hot on the trail of the escaping native. A trail he will follow to the end if it takes him twice around the world. Follow the adventures of Jungle Jim on the air and in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly. The great comic supplement which comes to you each week as part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. The Comic Weekly is the world's largest comic supplement containing the best comic and adventure stories each week in full-color action pictures. Follow your comic favorites, Jigs and Maggie, Barney Google, the Katsunyama Kid, the Little King, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. All these and many other of your favorite comic characters are to be found in full color in the Comic Weekly which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in. Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.